What's up? All right. Um, so I actually wanted to start off with um, there's a new documentary on Netflix right now. Okay. Um, it's called Hack Your Health. Okay. Um, and it's uh, it's all about okay. gut health and how it pertains to your diet and how it actually surprisingly pertains to your mental health yeah. and your brain function. Yeah. Um, which I found extremely interesting. Um, That's important. Though. It is. It yeah. is. But. There's some connections that they point out in there that you just really wouldn't even think going into it or are or, or, or even related at all, though. True. Um, so essentially, the microbiomes, which are your gut bacteria, mm -hmm. um, they exist in your gut, all of your intestines and all of that. And um, it dictates a lot of your mental health and it dictates your physical health. Um, so they require certain things and it's different for every person. So mm -hmm. um, everybody has, uh, you can do a gut health test, which would require a stool sample. And um, that will give you your personalized breakdown of what type of, uh, what type of microbiomes um, exist in your gut. Okay. And depending on where you're living, there's a completely different uh, variety um, there's either going to be a lot of versatility or there's not going to be any at all. They did like a contrast of industrialized areas versus uh, non-industrialized areas. Mm. Like literally they were in Nepal on the mountains just like asking people in these small villages like, can we have samples of your poop? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they were like, people were like, what? That's weird. And yeah. they would explain what they were doing. And then they're like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And um, there was just such a difference. But um, what that's led to is experimentation of um, even like crossing that over. So how do you get, as opposed to changing your diet, because if you change your diet too drastically or too, um, too significantly, too quickly, it could actually have adverse effects mm -hmm. instead of helping. So like safest route is, you know, in it for the long haul lifestyle changes incrementally, right? Um, but uh, but you change up your foods to get the mi to get the what the microbes that your body has needs. Right. Um. So they had this thing on there that I never heard of a uh, rectal transfer transplants, where you take the stool from one individual who is seemingly healthy or test is healthy if you go that far, mm -hmm. and you create capsules and it goes into as a suppository into an unhealthy gut health environment. Oh, wow. And so you're like, if I were to take yours and put it into mine, like yeah. I would, I would get the microbes that are in your okay. gut health and okay. they would, they would come into mine. Okay. However, if let's say you had hormonal acne or right. um, hormonal imbalance, mm -hmm. I would start to have really bad acne. Oh, wow. Or, um, if you had mental health issues or yeah, something, yeah. my depression would like skyrocket or my anxiety would skyrocket, okay. and, and it's just it, it's crazy because. Well, what if what if on that on that other end things are good though? Yeah, and so positive. That's, though. So they didn't they didn't focus on that, yeah, right? Of course they, they did. Yeah, they they, 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 yeah, they, um, they they pretty much they alluded to like which one was the lesser of the two problems, right? Course, so so the girl, she, she did a, she was a, a doctoral uh, student and she did a DIY at home mm. and she did it with her brother at first as her donor, but he had the acne, she got the acne. So then she did it with her boyfriend, but he had mental health. So her depression was crazy. So then she yeah. went back to her brothers. Um, and then within a week, the depression symptoms were gone. And, um, mm. and, and even the scientists were doing experiments with these rats and they were giving them different things, different uh, microbes from different humans. Okay. And um, they actually were saying that the microbes that you have could be heavily correlated with um, diseases like Parkinson's, mm. um, uh, Alzheimer's, mm. uh, depression, anxiety, stress. So um, just the simple giving of a microbe that's missing in one that has any of those would completely undo the symptoms. 100%. It reverts the symptoms entirely. And I was like, that, to me, that's groundbreaking because that's that's cure for Alzheimer's or at least the effects of it, right? Well, I mean, I think the overall takeaway or one of the main takeaways from this is that, is that um, you need to be. You need to focus on your gut health, right? Yeah. You need to be yeah. aware of how your where your gut health is at. You need to right. be aware of um, what you're putting in your body and how it affects you on a day to day basis, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, is there anything else on that? Um, just real quick, like um, the main thing, if you're not gonna do like a whole test or anything, the the one thing that is significantly lacking in American diet is fiber. Um, it's recommended that we intake 28 to 30 grams a day. And we covered that. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. Yeah, yeah, and a few fibers. Yep. Yep.